All right, so um, today uh, you will be watching a video covering the topic of meiosis. And the essential question I want you to write down in your notes today is can you summarize the events of meiosis? Now before we begin talking, we need to review um, human chromosomes, remembering that our DNA in eukaryotes are located in the nucleus, and we have this long DNA strand that's long and long and long. And before we uh, begin to go through um, cell division and that kind of stuff, it packages into these um, structures called chromosomes. Now remember we've been talking about patterns of inheritance and passing down our traits from parent to offspring. And so we have been talking about these uh, structures called genes. And so genes are pieces of DNA that um, code for a specific trait. So co code for eye color, code for rolling your tongue, um, that kind of thing. And so we need to remember that when we're looking at human chromosomes, we call them homologous chromosomes. And remember, homo is a root word. You need to know which means the same. And so you will have homologous chromosomes when we're talking about this topic of meiosis today. And so homologous is referring to where you have one chromosome from your father and one chromosome from your mother, and they match up. They are the same. So let's say that this gene codes for rolling of the tongue. So that's for this allele for rolling your tongue that you got from your father. And then this gene is the uh, second allele that codes for rolling your tongue that you would have gotten from your mother. So we call them homologous chromosomes. Now we need to come back to some vocabulary that we learned at the beginning of the unit. The words gametes and somatic cells. So remember gametes are referring to our sex cells, our sperm and our egg. And our somatic cells are referring to all the other different cells in our body. Muscle cells, skin cells, uh, bone marrow cells, that kind of thing. And so when we're referring to those somatic cells, all those other types of cells in our body, we refer to them as diploid. So di is a root word you need to know, and di is referring to two. So in diploid cells or somatic cells, they have a full complete set of chromosomes, which means they have the two complete sets, the full amount of DNA in all of those cells. And so we represent diploid with um, uh, this number 2n. And so in humans, we are 2n equals a total of 46 chromosomes. So all of our somatic cells, we would be called diploid, and they would have 46 chromosomes in there. Now in gametes, um, our sex cells, those are called haploid, meaning they would have half the amount, which means they would only have one set they wouldn't have the complete full set of chromosomes in all of their genes. And so they would have just one set of genes. And so we call um, haploid or gamete cells N in humans would equal 23 because you'd have half the amount. So you'd only have 23 chromosomes in sperm and 23 chromosomes in eggs. All right, so here's another visual showing you that you would get uh, a chromosome from your mom, a chromosome from your dad, and this would be a, a diploid set which would be these the ones that are in your somatic cells and then in sperm and egg you would have half the amount present. Okay, so we're talking about this process of meiosis and meiosis is a process where you're taking your total number of chromosomes and you're cutting them by half. So basically you're taking a diploid cell and, and at the end of the process forming four haploid cells. And so basically meiosis is making our gametes. Meiosis is the process of making our eggs and our sperm cells. All right, so there are some important to meiosis. The one is, is that it's random fertilization that can occur, so it's random. Um, there is genetic variation because there's this process called crossing over, which we'll talk about here in a moment. And there's also bringing back one of Mendel's principles, which was independent assortment where the alleles will separate independently of each other when you're forming these gametes. And that's the process of meiosis is forming these gametes. So before we get into meiosis at all, we have to talk about one important thing, and that is um, DNA must be replicated. And remember that replication happens in S phase in interphase. So I have a visual here showing you that you have your mom's chromosome, and you have your dad's chromosome, and they're homologous to each other. 
and then they have to be replicated. So you they would so moms would form uh, a sister chromatid and dads would form sister chromatids. And again, they're just duplicated homologous chromosomes. So remember that in somatic cells we have 46 chromosomes. So if you duplicate, you're going to end up with now 92 chromosomes before beginning meiosis.